There are always some new interesting facts about these F1 Formula car racers, and honestly, we don't hate that. In addition to their car racing, there are lots of other things that you might want to know. So here we are with 14 things you didn't know about Lando Norris, who has already been tipped as F1's next Lewis Hamilton. Lando Norris's Ethnicity Lando Norris is half Belgium and half British. He's the son of Adam Norris, who is a British entrepreneur, and Cisco Wildman, who is from Belgium. He has both British and Belgian citizenship, and he can speak some Flemish Dutch as well. Helmets that cause backfire Norris once tried to mark his Belgium heritage with a specially designed helmet ahead of the Belgian Grand Prix, but the decision backfired the design of the helmets incorporated the flag of the Flemish region, having a black lion on the yellow background. Norris stated that he was unaware of the potential political concerns over the design of his helmet, which has been adopted by a far-right party in Belgium. He actually intended to use the design to pay tribute to his maternal grandparents. Their picture was also printed on the helmet. It's okay, Norris. We trust your feelings if no one else does. Pretty Average Height You'll be surprised to know our young F1 star is just 5.6 feet tall, but you know who cares about it when you are filthy rich and drive sexy pairs of wheels. Plus, it has no bad influence on the racing driver along with being handsome and extremely fast. Like, come on, we still need to look at the height? Net Worth According to rumors, Lando Norris's salary in 2019 was expected to be about $2 million. However, in 2021, Norris's on-track income was skyrocketed to a stunning $9 million, which is just $1 million less than his teammate Daniel Ricciardo's salary. Norris also runs the esports team Quadrant. His net worth is between $3 to $4 million in 2022. Many people are unaware that Lando Norris's father is one of the wealthiest persons in the United Kingdom. Adam Norris is a multimillionaire who amassed his wealth via the use of pension funds and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And you guys should want to do that too, if you want to become filthy rich and want your son to be an F1 racing hunk. He's the youngest ever karting world champion. Norris had won Britain's cadet karting category for junior racers by 2010. Norris had a stellar 2013 season, winning silverware in the CIK, FIA, KF Junior Championship, as well as the Super Cup and Euro Series. He didn't win the World Junior title, but he made up for it the next year. Now in the top KF category, Norris has become the youngest driver ever to win the world title at the age of 14. And at this age, all we used to do was to cry over excessive homework. Lando Norris about his name. Despite popular belief, Norris's name is not a reference to the famous Star Wars character, Lando Calrissian. As Lando Norris said himself, he has no idea how his mother thought of this name. Did you know that Lando's name was short for Landowner? His name comes from the Australian word for the bit of floor at the top of some stairs. It is also confirmed from reports that Lando's name is an abbreviation of Cabin Crew, Please Take Your Seats for Landing. And you think your name is funny? His first interest was in motorcycles. Lando Norris was first a MotoGP fan. Norris stated that at first, he wasn't so into car racing. When he was about seven years old, he had his first trip to the car track at Clay Pigeon in Dorset. I was more into MotoGP to be honest, the racer admitted in an interview in 2017. However, he quickly showed an aptitude for karting and progressed through the junior ranks with his brother Oliver, who is three years older than him. Norris said he was on a motorbike, 50cc or 60cc motocross, and he loved doing it. But as soon as he tried karting, he just had more love for that. When I spoke to Rossi, he was the opposite. Norris started karting when he was at the age of seven. He loved it, but when he tried motorbikes, he just had more passion for doing that. However, he quickly showed an aptitude for karting and progressed through the junior ranks with his brother Oliver, who is three years older than him. Norris found his passion in karts and was exceptionally fast at a very young age. He is still a MotoGP fan, and who knows if we'll ever see him racing on a bike in the future. He's a sim racer. Lando Norris is a guy who is a part of a new generation of F1 drivers who have grown up with an easy racking up hours at the wheel of his racing cars on sim games, just as iRacing. Lando reportedly joined the sim racing team Apex Racing at the end of the year 2017. A habit of taking the first place. 
Rookie championship wins have been a title for Lando Norris for a long time. From back-to-back -back years, Lando had won the series of Formula car racing as a fresher, including MSA Formula in 2015, Toyota Racing Series at the year 2016, Formula Renault 2.0 Euro Cup plus Formula Renault 2.0 NEC again in 2016, and last but not least, the European Formula 3 in 20. This title is especially impressive, not just because it's known as the most high-profile championship he's won so far, but also because it is marked as one of the most elite championships winning of all time. Norris has continued a productive association with Carlin from MSA Formula and BRDC F3, and together they had ended Prema's domination of the category, which included successive title wins for Roberto Mary, Daniel Juncadella, Rafael Marcello, Esteban Ocon, Felix Rosenqvist, and Stroll. Pretty big achievements at such a young age, hmm? Having Serious Racecraft Lando Norris was found battling with Formula Renault Euro Cup title rival Max DeForney at the Red Bull Ring in 2017. DeForney was clearly quicker than him and was able to pass Norris more than once. But every time Norris retaliated and repassed his rival, he not just passed his rival, but was also performing moves on some of the more unlikely places around the track. He's got a creative mind. Finally, on the penultimate lap of the race, and with two wheels on the grass, Norris produced the pass that clinched the win from where it is easy to say he loves and show off his skills and loves to win in style. Already one current F1 driver. Not to forget about Lando's three different championship wins in one year. At the end of 2016, Norris made his step up into Formula 3 racing. Stroll had already clinched the championship when Norris made a wildcard appearance at the Hockenheimring season finale. Fortunately for Stroll, Norris and fellow newcomer Dan Tictum were required to start from the pits. In race 3, Norris lapped in the 10th and 2nd pole position, and he started on 4th. That is one place ahead of the newly crowned champion doesn't live in his homeland. F1 driver Lando Norris moved from Surrey to Monaco to look after his future ahead of 2022 season. Lando Norris has also announced his plans to become the latest Formula One racer to move to Monaco, and freely admits the move is financially motivated. This is quite fitting, as he has replaced fellow Somerset native Jensen Button as McLaren's test and reserve driver. His excels on driver's tracks. On Norris's first visit to Monaco with the Formula Renault European Cup, he packed his car on pole position, only because of a strip of it due to a minor technical dysfunction. There, little green flag running in the race meant half points were awarded to our racer when it was cut short. Norris's first trip to the Spa was a clear sign of his potential, while being on the driver's track, which is of an entirely different kind. Our racer turned up in the German Formula No. 4 championship, where he was not full-time racing, and didn't have as much experience of the equipment as his rivals. Even then, he took a fourth, a second, and a win in all three races. He was Alonso's teammate in 2018. Before the season began, Norris and Fernando Alonso were found to be teamed up for the Daytona 24-hour sports car race in January 2018. Appropriately, Norris used to drive Alonso's FA kart brand. Last week, Norris tested an LMP2 Ligier in preparation for the race. And before the end of the year, he took on the prestigious Maco Formula 3 Grand Prix and made his Formula 2 debut at Yas Marina the weekend after. Who knows how many victories our racer will have in the future, but we sure know we'll be here to tell you about it all. That's all for today's video. Do let us know which fact was the most surprising for you. Press that like button to support our content and also share the topics you want us to speak on in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for more fun and amazing videos.